All right, this is an update. Got my wheel trimmed, uh, almost trimmed, completely finished. So if you guys were wondering how I was going to do that, because it was kind of mumble jumbo last time, I got this. Uh, I had to put a different belt on here, obviously, because it didn't have enough torque. But uh, I put the. Uh, it's hard to see. I put a uh, pulley on here for the timing belt. Just what I had laying around. Uh, that same motor I had. And uh, if you're wondering how I was going to do this bit, uh, here's the bit. It's just a lathe bit. But what I did is I attached it to something that I built for something else. Uh, this has a fine thread. It's 24 per inch. Uh, and this is just something I built for uh, something else I was making. It's got three wheels on the center of it, like here. And uh, it's meant to compress and roll at the same time or something else I'm building. Well, anyway, uh, as you can see, this wheel is, uh, I'll spin it here, it's pretty true. It's actually, I mean, square it's going to get. It's what I'm doing. Uh, as you know, I don't have a lathe that's 24 inches in diameter. So this is how I did it. Uh, I'll fire it up here so you can see it spin up. Let's turn this stuff on. I got control over here at this old school thing I built. It's just a pulse width modulator unit for some HHO projects. And yeah, the wheel's unbalanced still. I'm going to balance it and then I'll trim it up again. But yeah, running pretty good now. You can see it's true. Like I said, it's not balanced. I'm going to slow it down. But, uh, yeah, then basically I just crank this over and just take a little bit off at a time. You can see it's still not quite done yet. It's still taking some off. But that's not a problem. I'm going to balance it out, and then I'll true it up again. That way I can get it up to a higher speed. And that's it. So there's a little update. I probably won't show any more trimming. Next will be uh, probably magnet placement. We'll go from there. Later.